This was our last Christmas card, and on it is a picture of Neymar, age five, with her first dog, who's called George Washington. This was, for her, the beginning of a lifelong affection for dogs. Dogs have always meant a lot to all members of my family. And she had several different kinds of dogs during the course of her life. She had terriers, she had an Airedale, and finally she had a Manchester Terrier, the last one of whom was called Bingo and who bit everybody but was still loved. The love of dogs goes on to this day. But possibly the one she loved best was a short-haired terrier called Peter. Peter came into her possession sometime in the middle 1920s and he was affectionate and I think um, cemented her relationship with the, with the species. I think though that Peter's real um, claim to fame is that he was around at the time when my real grandfather, Neymar's first husband, um, left her and her mother died at roughly the same time and she was very upset and the famous incident of her so-called disappearance took place. And Neymar always remembered that when she came home after a little unscheduled trip to Harrogate, the first person she met at home was, of course, Peter, who met her as a long-lost friend, as if she'd never been away, wagged his tail, and she felt, for one moment, normal again. He eventually, in the middle 30s, became the star of a book called Dumb Witness. In Dumb Witness, Bob, alias Peter, leaves a ball at the top of the stairs. And this gives the murderer the idea of how he might get rid of his victim. Poirot, however, sees through this and realises that Bob would never have done such a thing. And in the end... Hastings goes off with the dog. And they all lived happily ever after. Such was Peter's uh, starring role in Dumb Witness that the, the book, as anybody who's read it will know, was dedicated to dear Peter, most faithful of friends and dearest of companions, a dog in a thousand. Neymar's and indeed the rest of my family's feelings about these strange animals called dogs is that uh, whenever you think that, that you haven't got a friend in the world, that nothing is going right, one look at your dog and you feel that the world is a slightly better place. And I think that was the real secret of Neymar's great love and affection for these wonderful animals. <laughs>